So a quick explanation of the 24 volt ultra bright LED strip supplied by Flexfire LEDs uh, in combination with a 24 volt 300 watt uh, trans magnetic transformer. I'm going to go through a couple things here, cutting it, the IP65 coating on it, um, connecting the connectors to the strip, a uh, handful of things. So the strips are going to come in packages of 5 meters. We pull this out. It has one pre-soldered end on it, so one side is going to already have the wires coming off. Okay, now you can cut this down or however you want to do it. The other side is going to look like this. This is like a shortened version. The other side is going to look like this. There's a plus and there's a minus side. What we can do is if we want to add add to this strip, we can use this type of connector here, which simply goes on the end and we tighten it down, okay? And then you do it the same on this side, a strip goes in here and it continues a strip. So we can put up to 10 meters together, five meters here, we can add another five meters using this type of connector. Now let's say you want to make a turn, do the same thing as with this connector, and I'll actually cut this so you can see. So we're gonna cut this strip right here, what we're going to do is we're going to use this connector, we're going to come on here, we tighten it down, just like that. And on this side, we do the same thing, we make sure that the, the plus lines up with the red or on this, is on the same side as the plus on this strip here. Okay, and the plus on this side. Pull it out, slide it in. Voila. Now what we have, in essence, imagine this is five meters of strip here, and then we come to a turn in the cove lighting or whatever uh, in a corner, and we have another strip going this way. So you have three different types of connectors. You have this strip to strip with no wire, you have a strip to strip with wire, and you have a, we call it strip to power. So if you had a small segment or something you want to hook directly up to transformer, you can use this and wire it right in. Now the coating on it, this is not a, we don't have any in stock right now of the IP65 of the 24 volt, but this is the type of coating that goes, comes on it. You can see it's still very flexible. I'll try and get it nice and close so you can see, but it's kind of tough. You can see that what this is, is basically a rectangular uh, tube acting as a lens and a protector to the lights. Um, it can be out in the rain, it can get hosed on, it's gonna protect the, the uh, strip from dust and those types of things, uh, but it can't be submerged and you don't wanna apply hose pressure to this and it's going to have this type of connector off the end. Um, there's another connector that goes on this that goes to wire that you can then wire into the transformer. The transformer here, 300 watt, you can, uh, you can wire three strips of the 24 volt ultra bright to this here. Now the way this works, this, this gets closed when it's in operation, it has a uh, breaker switch right here, manual. So you open this up, you have your black and your white for hooking up to your AC. And then down here, I don't know how you can see it. I'm going to get the flashlight out here and hopefully you can show you. See the red, the red wire going to that terminal. On the other side, there's a purple wire. So red on this side and a purple on this side. So you hook your positive wire up here and your negative wire up here on your lighting. And you can see the uh, holes there. Well, there's a little screw through the top. You can use a small screwdriver and you can screw that down and you can fit, uh, you can definitely fit two wires in there from the strips, no problem. So off of one side, let's say off to the left here, I would, I would run two reels uh, and connect them using a strip to strip with no wire connector or with wire. And off this side, I'd only go with one reel. And at 84 watts per, per reel, uh, 84 times 3 gives us a total wattage used by the lights, uh, which can be handled by the 300 watt 24 volt transformer. Uh, that should answer a lot of your questions, I hope. Uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call or email. The size of the transformer, looking at 4 inches, 4 inches this way, and we're looking at when it's closed.
We're looking at seven inches. That stands. Four minus seven, a little over three and a quarter inches uh, tall. So four by seven by three and a quarter inches. And then once again, has a manual breaker. Has a couple three quarter inch knockouts on either side for running your wiring. And that's kind of how it looks there. Um, and then you hang it from those two, those two holes there. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions. We'll talk to you later.